Hey guys, welcome back to Bo vs. Monsters. We are gonna take on the uh, Monobloses today. Actually, because I have been farming a uh, regular Monoblos, but I think we will be taking on the White Monoblos instead. I completely forgot I was farming the uh, regular Monoblos, but we are going to do something a little different. Um, we're gonna end by a subquest because I still need... I'm not even sure, let me check. Close parts. We need one more Scarlet Stout Horn because I need seven to complete the set. However, this it's a it's a good set. I, I think that's why I'm gonna make it. The free element, expert potential, and psychic are complete skills that you can can get from a G rank Monoblos uh, X. Um, I did all the math, but the all fire stones are gonna have to be held off, so this set won't be completely finished. But I just want to get the parts just in case. Um, I do decide. Uh, concretely that I want the set because right now I'm still a little iffy about it but I figured I'd collect things also we can upgrade a few things I'm gonna upgrade my purple emperor uh, monoblos chine but monoblos amazingly in G rank is not that difficult he's if I struggled with him before clearly because I just I'm still trying to get used to, uh, one thing I've noticed uh, I'm trying to get used to the 3ds and I've noticed I have gotten used to it so a lot of these monsters aren't as difficult as they were like uh, the shrouded Nursula uh, clearly in the early stages I was still trying to get used to the small format and I'm used to the gamepad and uh, from 3u and the controllers from the Wii U where I, had, I actually use the uh, from the Wii I actually in try I use the nunchuck uh, thing which really helped like just changing like the direction of your left uh, of the actual remote or no I think it was the left no it was the right the right the remote uh, change direction changes your great sword attack changes everything uh, it was pretty pretty useful and but now we're confined to the 3ds and that's where I think most of my uh, difficulty came from so we're gonna make this and I sold a lot of parts as you can see I have three million yeah, three million zenny already, because I was selling extra parts down to about 30 or 20, and I had a lot of extra parts left over. I also have enough for this, but because t technically I have done Ezra Rathalos in G rank, and again, I'm not going to repeat monsters that I've already done in high rank or low rank. Um, generally, they're not that, they're they're pretty, they're pretty basic. The only thing is, is they get like extra attacks, but they're n really not new monsters, and you can get things so I will be upgrading these but when I feel comfortable because I don't want to end up uh, using these mm. in uh, situations where I cannot actually mm. use them because some of these I might have gotten a bit further than I uh, should have before I fight monsters I haven't fought yet so it's just really complex with me right now this looks like I can make it because fighting Azure Rathalos online was immediate I think we have to fight regular and then Azure gets unlocked but uh, for the most part I will be doing um, some upgrading on a lot of things Coot Coot can be upgraded because we did fight as uh, regular Rathalos uh, online I think I didn't I don't know if I streamed that or I just did it with friends and I know I've gotten a lot of requests of help uh, mostly when I stream is when you're going to be able to help me because beyond that it's just my friends list is kind of full <laughs> and sometimes I'm not playing during your regular hours so it's kind of hard to get a team together so I'm not trying to avoid you guys it's just my si living situation with work and uh, how comfortable I am to actually play this game online it's um, it's very limited mm. so like I, right now I'm at work and I should not be recording but I, I mm. am and I'm pretty sure the residents here are solidly asleep, which is why I'm trying to do this quick episode. But now it's just getting really wordy, so I'm hoping nothing, uh, nothing bad happens. No, nothing should be. Like everything's in sight, everything's fine. Every I can see everything, which is why I was able to do the ones before. But right now, it's just trying to figure out the uh, proper, uh, the appropriate time limit I have. I also got rid of a lot of talismans. I moved things around so everything is not in order. Uh, the talismans are definitely gone from these sets, and that's 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 amazing. But uh, I'm gonna register this real quick, and that's my. Oh no 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 no! no. Where's the ice one? Just register this. 
because I'm going to have to redo all this after this episode and just get everything situated, but I will not be using this bow. Actually, I have to. We'll, we'll do this real quick. There's a, um, I still need a stout fine horn, uh, so we're going to see what I can do with that real quick. I'm not going to eat for this because I've been farming this thing uh, via subquest, but amazingly, monoblos, regular, this is what we're going to fight today, silvery spear, but I still need that monoblos horn. So we're gonna try to get that horn we need just in case we need the uh, sonic phone. Hopefully, my computer is getting old. It's running on two years now, and um, it's beyond two years. In August, it hit two years. Oh god. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to update my computer at some point. And I'm looking at the HP Phoenix. A lot of people are telling me just build your own or get like a better one, but that's that's the one I'm actually looking at. And it's just it's because I'm a huge Hewlett Packard fan. I Packard? Did I say Packard? I don't know. But I'm a huge Hewlett Packard fan and um I just the Phoenix that they have out right now is it looks pretty good. Yeah. See, right now, <laughs> none of us is not that difficult, like I've mentioned. It's just I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it is about me. It's just, I have no problem fighting this thing at all. Uh, I've been farming him and got to the point where I am amazingly. But a lot of his attacks are easy to evade. And he is very easy to attack. I just need this horn and then we're gonna fight it like one of those. If even if I don't get it, this is what I've been doing before this episode. Ow. Yeah. Can I just he's already in rage. Oh no. Okay, just don't kill me. You can attack me, just don't kill me. Just need that horn token. The ice damage. Silver and regular monoblos both have the same amount of damage. Uh, oh man. The, the same uh, damage points. I think it's uh, 70 in the neck and then 80 in the tail tip for bullet. And then... Oh, uh, let me get this half off. Exact same, to be frank. Lightning deals the most damage. In, in a way because it has 30 at the neck and 30 at the tail tip for both monoblos and white monoblos but ice has more uh, opportunity with the, with the nose oh is this it yes I have it <laughs> worth uh, this little uh, inclusion excerpt I don't know what you want to call it this little moment and that's all I was farming, and I finally got it, and I figured might as well get an episode done before time's too late. But, um, yeah, so Ice is 25 in the head. Uh, basically, regular Monoblow stats, uh, just to recap, it's 70 in the neck, 80 in the tail tip for bullet damage, and then 45 everywhere else, except for the... My phone just doesn't want to see on. Except for the head and the wing, or back. That's actually the back for the wing itself. Um, it's 35, so everywhere is 45, except for the two points. The neck is 70, the tail tip is 80, and then ice is 25 in the horn, 25 in the back, 20 in the tail tip, and then 15 and below, which aren't really important, but it, ice does do damage in other places, but lightning is 30 in the neck, 30 in the tail tip, and then 20 in the wing flap and 25 in the tail, so actually the next bow I'll be using because I want to cut tail is not this bow because it's not built for, um, it's not built for attack, but I did upgrade the neat bow and I can't remember what I needed for it, uh, to upgrade, but I'm pretty sure it's illegal, <laughs> um, because while fighting Shrouded and Aracella, ooh, that's another set I forgot to, uh, show you guys. Um, this set is complete. It's got crit stat. You got a gem in status to any status attack, um, but it's got crit stat. This is what I've been farming, but while I was in there, because of how easy Nursilla is offline, I ended up gathering a lot of um, ores and stuff because it's Dune's Knight, 
and in the dunes at night you get Flutterfly and Meltspar Ore, which you need to finish the set, and many other things, and so that's where Nevebo was able to be upgraded, because we do have access to the dunes night, and we also have access to it from online. So it's not really that big a deal for me, which is why I did it. Um, for you guys, none of this really matters, but it's just for me, uh, all you guys want to see is some monster hunting action, and I am pretty sure <laughs> I am giving you as much action as possible. Um, but I am sorry for being so wordy. Let's see. What am I looking for now? That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so I don't need... It has a cross I don't think I broke it into it. Um... I'm looking for... Oh, that's right. Okay. I see. Oh, it does have ice there. What am I looking for then? I need peak, peak performance. Why is that not possible? Oh, okay. Catalyst. Got it. Eh, not that. Put one of these here, and then we put one in the bow. There you go. I don't know if I'm gonna get hit a lot by a uh, white monoblos, but I remember fighting him in Freedom Unite, and it wasn't that much different from regular monoblos. But I'm pretty sure they up upped his game in uh, this game. <laughs> they upped his attacks and everything, his the challenge. So I'm a little worried actually, uh, how this is going to turn out. I'm running out of armor skins and I'm probably going to cart at some point and I'm not at all excited. So, let's hope I do this right and quickly because I am running out of time. The kids have to wake up in like half hour so they can get ready for school and stuff. But uh, I can stretch it about 15 minutes more because generally they're pretty good about getting up and this now you're gonna learn about my work uh, deal and sometimes I have to give them like constant calls but generally they get up in in one call and then they're like oh, I'm getting ready for school and then they they don't really give me a hard time but this is one accident <laughs> and it just just she just keeps me it, she gives me heart attacks all the time because she gets me upset sometimes. She takes forever doing everything, but I don't want to talk too much about that. It's just, that's why I think I can stretch it 15 minutes unless she decides to give me a hard time. Just like some dumb bombs do I need them? So anyway, white monoblows. Stable environment, so we don't need the dumb bombs at all. Um, this is offline, so we're going to be looking at about a 10 minute run. Um, in the Everwood, so I don't really need anything else. The Everwood is our free hunt area. Sadly, if it's not anywhere I can jump, I'm gonna not be able to get that tail because I was able to get Monoblo's tail easy with the set and just cut it off with a bunch of jumps. Uh, luckily, the cat would put traps in proper areas, but this time, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Again, I hope it's in the ledge area, but there is a chance that it will be in that flat area with all the gargua or whatever else that usually show up. We'll see how this turns out. So generally, we want to aim for the neck because that deals the most I uh, ice and... Oh no, that deals the most lightning. You can bring a lightning set with this, depending on which has higher raw if you want to cut tails. Uh, or depending on which has higher element, then you won't. Then you'll have to choose between lightning and element because and where you're actually going to be hitting. I'm using ice, so the tail would be my best uh, choice, but the neck wouldn't be too bad a place either. Yeah, this is the area I was talking about. Whoa, where am I going? We're going this way. Did I already take that? I did take that might see. That sucks, because it's going to go away soon. Um, okay, there it is. Oh, man. 
So ice is uh, 25 in that horn. And that's pretty much where I want to aim for the most part. Okay, yeah, they changed it. They changed it. God, the moving sand does not help this fight. Okay. I'm gonna get uh, no slashes on him. Okay, I see how this is gonna go. We're not getting any tail because this thing's already proving to be difficult. Oh, the sand area though. Maybe I should have just brought those dumb bones. It definitely would have gave me something. Oh. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Oh. Okay, he too does the double attack. Oh, oh jeez. it more excessively. That sucks. Alright. Probably take this armor skin before I die. That helps. If I got stunned, I probably would have died. And this thing sucks. Oh my god. Uh. Uh, this is exciting, I guess. I don't know. I highly don't. I really don't like this. I need to take that armor skin. Oh, I'm so glad he's like slow. Okay. Can you dig? I would really like to get your tail. What's going on? Why can't I climb on that? What? You guys, this game sucks. <laughs> this game is trolling me right now. It doesn't want me doing anything. Oh my god, come on. Try to get this kill. Second attempt. I'm already annoyed. I can't believe this. Okay, I don't know how many hits this is gonna take, but uh, it's definitely one of those times. Sand is just too much for me. Okay. This is good because we're gonna get a chance here. What? He moved. Ugh. I'm gonna take a guess and. Because that big flat open area is gonna be very. Uh, gonna be a huge advantage for him. Uh, anyway, this quest should, if I do not go for the tail, it should take about eight. Mm, Eight minutes if the damages are exact same as regular monoblos. Oh my god. Because they are the exact same. There's no really difference. And so monoblos I can do in about eight minutes. Uh, no problem. So this new attack is already... I'm already adjusted to it. <laughs> it's just this game doesn't want me to do things. I mean you guys saw that. I was like frozen just running in place. It wouldn't let me climb that little ledge. That was very upsetting.
Whoops, that's not what I wanted to use. Uh oh, I might be in trouble here. Oh, this is a good chance. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Because boomerangs suck. <laughs> Can we not? <sighs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. Can't believe I'm trying to do this with a boomerang. Oh, I did it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright. Close Medula. Let's just attack it. The tail's always gonna be here. Alright. So this is the thing I have to do. Oh my god, come on laptop. Hang in there. So he should be weak enough. He's trying to leave. Oh I think he's like weak weak. He's basically a Diablo son. There's really no difference. And he is exhausted, so he's pretty much dead at this point. Of course, he might have more health than a Monolos, but uh, as I've mentioned, it's a, it's a pretty easy fight. Invasion. Oh no, 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 cats, cats, Ivy, Ivy, please, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my god, that U turn is. to ride him, but Get all up in his neck flaps. Oh, he moved on. Okay. He's got to be tired. Like, weak, weak. And I'm already feeling that he has more health than a regular Monoblos. So we're going to continue on and see if he's gone to the next area. White Monoblos armor. I think in Freedom Unite it was good. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the same case. Oh, it is weak. Look at that. Okay, I think, I think we should kill it. I mean, he's almost dead. Hmm, good burps. There we go. <laughs> uh, offline, definitely, um, easier. <laughs> I'm glad that this one's online. Like, title Nijarla, I don't know if it's offline, but I kind of wish it was because I probably wouldn't have had. Uh, I did Shrouded Nursala online just to see the huge difference. It took me about uh, 16, 17 minutes to do it offline. Or online. 
um, in the gathering hall. For obvious reasons, I don't think I need to explain it. It's just online is meant for groups, so the monsters will be harder. So that's why I was struggling with Tidal Najar a lot. Because it, it, the way I've been hitting it, apparently, <laughs> it what, took me 40 minutes. Offline, it should it maybe took me 20 minutes. Because the health uh, difference, um, behavior-wise, exact same. Nothing, no difference. Uh, Ner Shrouded Nursula in both offline and online did the same things. It's just the difficulty is harder in online if you're soloing things because of the, that exact reason. It's online meant for gathering and stuff. So that's my excuse for a 40 minute Najarala run and all that complaining. I mean, I'll be finding this tonight though if it's got good, uh, I mean this morning. I might stream this morning. We'll see how that goes. And if you aren't following me on Twitter, you won't know that I'm streaming because I always give out a tweet about 15 minutes before I actually tweet. Or not tweet, before I actually stream. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um, today is my day off. <laughs> I'll have two days off, Friday and Saturday. So, And then I think during the evening I'll be doing a lot of Destiny. I can't stream big games because of my internet, but these small, uh, small frame rate games, they're easier to handle. I think right now these episodes are doing like 24, 25 frames. I don't know. Okay, we got people talking. Let's go check those out first. Well, actually, no. <laughs> Let's go check out those first, and then I just head to the uh, armory first thing. Which is uh, not bad. Let's see, expert potential, stamina, and ooh, have I been, mo <laughs> have I been, uh, I think I may have been looking at the wrong set, because this seems like the, the monoblos, the white monoblos set is already looking better than the regular monoblos. Regular has free element, this one has loading. Alright, what do you have for me? Thanks so much, doodle, you should be a, should be a number of holes. I need to person send my note. Note worthier than ever before notebook to the end. Okay. Okay, so all of that's done apparently. And now I think. I don't know. Did we unlock a G rank uh, arena white monoblos? Is that a thing? Nobody here? Yeah, I think we unlocked a arena challenge. Oh, the oh, that's from online. Okay, or maybe that Monoblos had something to do with something. But there we have it. We have both Monobloses done. Well, actually, the first one again is pretty easy. Um, if I really had time right now, and I do, uh, I could probably just do Monoblos for you guys. But like, I'm already showing you that I have the set ready. Uh, to make. I just don't know if I want to make it yet. So, yeah, not much to show. Well, oh, it's actually. Oh, it's the exact same. I thought it was a little different. So, let's see. Expert potential loading constitution. Oh, uh, there's the big difference, though, because the legs had something else. The regular Monoblo set just sticks with Psychic, Potential, Expert, and Free Element. But this has this different stamina. Hmm. Stamina. I don't even know if they're, like, complete sets, either. Potential or Constitution. So I have to choose between the two. Constitution. Hmm. Extra potential. So expert potential and loading are the ones that I'll be uh, that I'll need. The difference is the monoblos will be missing a potential point if I use the helmet, which would be preferred because the extra defense would be that would be great. But the cap is locked in because of those loading points. And again, I need all fire stones for that, and I don't have the volcano unlocked yet. That's good because the regular Monoblo set takes two hearts. Um, the 
white Monoblo set looks like I can make. It'll be way easier to make this set than it is the other set. All that depends though. Let me go look at the quest again before I end this episode. Because if it has the end via subquest with the horn, then yeah, it'll definitely be possible because I can just do that and farm for that stout horn. What am I looking at? Oh, here we go. It is the horn. Okay. So I'll be I'll be farming that, <laughs> and I will try to make use of a potential set at some point because I did do it in 3U, but that was because it was a lot of practice. But this will be kind of new because, well, in a way, it'll be new. Not really, because I am getting used to these monsters, <clears throat> and um, we'll we'll see how this goes. I'm already losing my voice. I don't talk much, and. For those of you who already know this, this is how my voice gets eventually. <coughs> so, that was our episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for subscribing. I mean, you guys, 70 points, 70, oh my god, 700 subscribers right now, and clearly I'm doing something right, but in general, these are just episodes to help you guys understand how monsters work, and for a visual of how another person plays with a bow because that's our favorite weapon which is why you kind of showed up here um, so thanks we're already at 700 uh, that's I don't know how to feel about that <laughs> I don't know how to feel about any of the uh, uh, subscriber 100 points uh, 100 marks like 500 was a lot and now 700 is becoming more of a lot and then if we hit 800, I'll be thinking about a thousand, and it'll be, uh, I don't know. It's just, we'll, we'll see how I feel later on. Maybe I'll bring up the topic again, but thanks for subscribing. And I hope I can continue to help you understand monsters and how bows work. And we need, I'm pretty sure, a new um, updated bow tutorial should be coming up. Because I think in 3U I did... I know in 3U I did uh, give you numbers and points and stuff, but I'll probably do a brief one. So, thanks again, and I'll see you with a new episode. See ya.